Welcome to video one for this unit on introducing proportional relationships. In this video, we're going to focus on representing proportional relationships with tables. Here is a table that shows different amounts of chocolate syrup and milk. When mixed together, each row of the table would make a different amount of chocolate milk. However, each row of the table makes a mixture that would taste the same. Notice that each row in the table shows a ratio of tablespoons of chocolate syrup to cups of milk that is equivalent to 4 to 1. To describe the relationship between these quantities, we could say the relationship between the amount of chocolate syrup and the amount of milk is proportional. Or we could say the amount of milk is proportional to the amount of chocolate syrup. We could also say the relationship between the amount of chocolate syrup and the amount of milk is a proportional relationship. And lastly, the table represents a proportional relationship between the amount of chocolate syrup and the amount of milk. A proportional relationship is a relationship where the ratios between two corresponding quantities are always equivalent, such as the relationship here between the tablespoons of chocolate syrup and the cups of milk. In a proportional relationship, the values for one quantity are each multiplied by the same number to get the values for the other quantity. This number is called the constant of proportionality. In the table here, we can multiply any value in the chocolate syrup column by one-fourth to get the corresponding value in the milk column. We would call one-fourth the unit rate because it takes one-fourth of a cup of milk for each one tablespoon of chocolate syrup. We also say that one-fourth is the constant of proportionality for this relationship. Let's look at another example. When something is traveling at a constant speed, there is a proportional relationship between the time it takes and the distance traveled. This table shows the distance traveled in centimeters and the elapsed time in seconds for a bug crawling on the sidewalk. What is the constant of proportionality for this relationship? We can multiply any number in the first column by two-thirds to get the corresponding number in the second column. We can say that the elapsed time is proportional to the distance traveled and the constant of proportionality is two-thirds. This means that the bug's pace is two-thirds of a second per centimeter. This table represents the same situation except the columns are switched. Now, the elapsed time is in the first column and the distance traveled is in the second column. What is the constant of proportionality when we look at the relationship this way? We can multiply any number in the first column by three halves 
to get the corresponding number in the second column. We can say that the distance traveled is proportional to the elapsed time, and the constant of proportionality is 3 halves. This means that the bug speed is 3 halves centimeters per second. Remember the first table we looked at for this relationship? We saw that the constant of proportionality was 2 thirds which meant that the bug's pace was two-thirds of a second per centimeter. Notice that three-halves is the reciprocal of two-thirds. Remember, dividing one by a number gives the reciprocal of that number. When two quantities are in a proportional relationship, there are two constants of proportionality, and they are always reciprocals of each other. So how do we know which constant of proportionality to talk about? In general, when we represent a proportional relationship with a table, we say the quantity in the second column is proportional to the quantity in the first column. And the corresponding constant of proportionality is the number that we multiply the values in the first column by to get the values in the second column. Thank you for watching video one of four for this unit on introducing proportional relationships.